Once upon a time, not so very long ago, in a topsy-turvy land called Ocean, a fairy godmother sprinkled magic dust over a group of young people. And with the help of a magnificent dancer, Sid Saha, from the River of Culture, they began to train over 50 young people, aged 7 to 18, from local primary and secondary schools, in the beautiful dance of Bollywood. Many of these young people had never ever performed in a show before and were frightened of doing so. However, they showed great determination, practicing evenings and weekends to perfect their dance of Bollywood. Slowly but surely, they grew in confidence and started to believe. The show, Binderella, was fabulous. There was a happy ending for everyone involved, but this wasn't the end for Binderella. As news spread of the spectacular show, the fairy godmother was inundated with requests for another show. People from far and wide had heard of Binderella and wanted to see the magic for themselves. And this is why you are here today, to witness Binderella, the Bollywood extravaganza. So we started the project before Christmas because um, NDC has had a Christmas event, a winter event, for many years. But um, we thought that this time we want the kids to participate in it. So we brought in Hai Ching and Sid Shaha to direct, write, and to choreograph the show. From the Ocean Estate to the Hagen Empire, quite a big jump and quite a nerve wracking experience, I can tell you. We started with loads and loads of kids last year. We did a little panto to start off with, very successful, and um, decided then to come to the Hagen Empire. Well, the kids have been fantastic. I mean, it's been really fun you know, working with them and stuff, and it's just kids are kids at the end of the day and you can't help enjoying working with them and you know, they've been fantastic at times you know they're really hyperactive and that gets you keeps you going and stuff so it's really good the idea is to take the kids on a bit of a journey a lot of them have not performed before most of them have not danced before and so not only was it a youth project in terms of an arts youth project but it was also always intended to involve the community in coming to watch them. As you can see there's lots of aunts, uncles, mums, dads, sisters, brothers, friends and um, we're really chuffed to have 700 people come tonight. It's been fantastic. We feel like it's got a really great community spirit, both performances and the kids have done us proud. I work with kids anyway and I think the kids in this production are fantastic. They've got some amazing talent and I would love to work with them all again. And they're amazing and I wish the best for all of them. because like I said it's been a huge learning process for them um, in terms, a lot of them have learned to perform to take instruction they've learned movement um, and they've learned that you know that sometimes you have to practice and practice and practice and you can get something out of it and also it's great for their self-esteem and their self-belief performing on a big stage like that it's fantastic <laughs> Lots of experience, I should say. It's a professional experience because they are not used to, as as I say, because I I, I work with them, so they're not used to ever um, that kind of professional work. So they got now they get a, a experience and they get sense, as you can say. Yeah. I was really 
amazed about the amount of tickets we sold to Hackney Empire. From going doing the performance in Central Foundation School, when we kind of sold out like just over 100 tickets, to doing this here and sending out over 700, I think that's amazing. And not just for me, but for the children to realise that they've achieved that, I think that's an amazing thing to achieve, especially some of them are only eight years old. And I think that's fantastic for them to achieve.